<laughs> nice. It works. You are Jane. Oh, almost hit me in the face. <laughs> it's just the beginning. <laughs> Going to Monkey Butt Mountain. Monkey Mountain. Monkey Mountain. To find a monkey's uncle. And maybe get some sweet drone footage. And maybe lose a couple pounds of tacos that I've ate this week. And the beer I've been drinking. Not sure what animals those are, but they are not happy. Some sort of birdie. How far is this hike? Uh, like five miles. It says for the first part, it's pretty flat. And then it gets steep and kind of rock climbing towards the end. So All right. wish us luck. Let's see how it goes. Are there any harmful animals here? I think you need to worry about bugs and reptiles more than anything. All right. And plants. Stay tuned. part on the Iguera, wow that's bright, on the Iguera Blanca route. It's like a four-wheeler like off-road. Some incline but not like awful. Um, the calves are definitely burning but it's doable. And then you'll come up and there's a big white rock and there's a bunch of white paintings and white paintings on the trees and stuff. You're gonna make that sharp turn to the right and that'll be the last climb up to the top. There is, before you get to that point, there is a lookout, which is pretty amazing, but they say when you make this scramble then up to the top top, that is where the 360 degrees lookout's at, and we're pretty excited if we make it there alive. You would like to see a tarantula? Yeah. Most tarantulas are harmless. Yeah, but I feel like in the wild, it's just not. There's some big enough to eat little birds. But I think those oh. are more like in the Amazon. No, thank you. <sighs> Like swing on that thing. Ooh. Tarzan. <laughs> Me, Tarzan. You, Jane. Me, Tarzan. You, Jane. <laughs> Can you swing on it? Probably could. Wanna try? No. Why? Because I don't feel like getting hurt today. I don't have health insurance. Let's go. The white markings are very helpful. So just follow the white markings and you'll be good to go. All right. I think this is the last trek up. Really hasn't been that bad of a hike, honestly. And I'm the biggest whiner when it comes to hikes. So. Can I use the rope? If you feel like you need it, it's pretty steep. Maybe on the way down. 
have the wrong shoes on. Wearing tennis shoes on dirt doesn't make it that easy. Good thing I'm part mountain goat. Makes it a lot easier. Nice little steep incline. Kind of see the breakaway. Should be to the peak here. Any second, get a view. This is like the final push. It's steep. I am dying. Onward. Whoa. I'm sweaty. Mark better than most trails in Montana are. I know. I was hoping you wouldn't see this. Uh, there's still more. I know I've said this a million times, but Pat, I think this is actually the last incline. Oh, <laughs> we can do it, babe. We can do it. All right. This should be interesting. Okay. It's your back moon lake days, huh? To, oh yeah. To that hike. All right, so we basically just climb up all those rocks. I think I'm gonna need both hands for this, so the GoPro's going away. Whew. We made it. We're hot, we're sweaty, but we have incredible views. Yeah. What a view, that was worth it. Monkey's butt's not that bad. Incredible. You can just see. You can see the Marietta Islands way, way, way back there. All right, let's see it, Jane. Use that rock to push off. <laughs> nice. It works. You are Jane. Oh, almost hit me in the face. Oh, yeah. Look at I got. Stuff for after workout recovery. You or something else. Yeah, you wanna help me? Help me help me. 
All right, well, oh, hi, baby. We stopped and got ourselves a couple cases of beer because we were out at the house and got a bunch of chips. And then I made us some sandwiches and I'm super full. We're both like exhausted. But instead of like taking a nap or doing something productive, just eating Cheeto puffs and a bunch of chips like the fat kid I am. Oh God. After Pat and I's hike, stop! After Pat and I's hike, we kind of had a lazy day, hung out on the bed, watched the new WandaVision, and then I looked outside and the whales were going crazy again. So now we're in the kayaks, got a six pack of beer, and we're paddling out there, except I think the whales went away. But whatever, we'll make a good exercise out of it. Earlier today, we were on our hike and we climbed up to that mountain peak right there. Now we're out in the ocean, going to find some whales. It's kind of like an eerie peacefulness. That's a good way to describe it. It's eerie because we don't know where they're gonna pop up and they're probably the, what, second biggest animals in the whole world. Yeah. Next to the blue whale and my favorite land animal, the elephant. But it's peaceful because we're in their habitat and it's so beautiful. Well, I wouldn't say we're exactly what's his face from Free Willy, but we, we've, <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> we've come close to whales the last two days, which is something you usually got to pay for, so I'm happy. Yeah. You can't beat that. Pretty cool experience because that baby was probably born only a month or two ago and it's yeah. ginormous. So pretty cool. And now we get to enjoy some booty and a sunset. I'm a pirate. I found these. Nice. Well, it's been a good day. Good day. Got a good hike in. Yeah. We watched a bunch of shows. Got another workout in. Saw some wildlife and sunset on the water. So we'll see you next time. <gasps> Big splash! Wow! Oh, we missed it. Dang it! <laughs> oh! I wonder if we just hang out here, they'll come back. That's why we're having our beer. So I just came in, and there's a crab in our living room with one claw. Looks like it's been through a lot. Get out of my house! You're not welcome! You. You little asshole crab. Where are you going? No, don't you touch that. Don't you pinch that. I said no, crab. I, I, I know you're scared. Those are my shoes. I know you're scared. Idiot. Come here. Come here. Poor guy only. Babe, just maybe leave it alone for a second. It's not going to get less wound down, man. We need to get it out of here. It's a female, or it's a male. We know that from well, our crabbing days. Oh, lost the arm from fighting. I know. And I can see why. This is kind of a dick. Okay, come here. Get away from the wall. Well, don't back up. Oh, no, no, no. 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 I walked in and I like stopped. And I was like, is somebody playing a prank on us? And then it, <laughs> I was like, that's a crab. <laughs> Go shut that front door. Where are you gonna put the crab? On the beach where they belong. Get your heebie bejeebies. That was a big crab. Just in our living room. Sure, we're gonna find some more. I don't like it. What a day. Hike, whales, all the fish that would just jump while we were kayaking, and then a crab in our living room. It's been an eventful day, to say the least.
Bet you that's the last time Pat leaves the front door open, huh? What do you have to say? It doesn't hurt to have visitors every once in a while. I'd rather not. He probably got on the crustacean and got his way here. What? All right. Stay tuned to find if there's any more uh, wildlife that's not supposed to be in our house, in our house.